Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to learn about how to add these kinds of audio visualizer on your bar. So talking about my bar, let me tell you I am using the poly bar on my i3WM. So if you are planning to moving on to the window manager, then you should probably go with the poly bar because it is the one of the best highly customizable bar for the window managers. So without any wasting time, let's jump into the video. Let's go ahead and open any preferred browser on your system and search for the polybar kava and i think you should get the first repository that says the polybar kava and let's go and open up the github repository and don't worry i will provide the link in the description and as you can see that uh, we have to write the polybar modules uh, that will just display the kava on your polybar so if you are wondering to know whether these work on the other bars or not then let me tell you this will only work on the polybar let's just open up the terminal and let's go on to the polybar configuration directory and mine is a little bit different one if just go on to the configuration directory where you have saved the polybar configuration so as you can see that i have the models.ini here and config.ini uh, let me just open the models.ini first and let's go on to the bottom of the configuration and let's add this model here so we have successfully add and let me just change the script path here and that is gonna be config slash i3 slash polybar slash script and followed by the kava dot ss that is not generated yet we are just going to do that uh, soon in a video so let me open up the config.ini as well uh, that is just for viewing the modules on the model center we are just going to display the kava and uh, uh, let me do the edit followed by the dot config slash i3 slash uh, that is gonna be polybar and followed by the script directory and kava.sh so we have created the file sources fully and let's go and grab this script from the github repository and let me copy this and let's go onto the terminal and paste it here so that was it that's really easy and let's define the bar and that will be the i think i should use it to the system and let's save it and we don't need it now so let me save this as well and let me save this as well so i think we need to define the font as well so the font will be the three and uh, let me explain you how this works so here as you can see i have defined the three fonts First one is the mono space which is the interface font and second one is the uh, GIF font that is just used for displaying the GIFs on your polybar. So as you can see I have the different kinds of GIFs here and the third one which is the not font uh, which I have used for these kinds of icons. There is a bit different between GIF and icon you should be already familiar with that. So let me just go ahead and grab the font name from here. So that is just basically a GIF font. So that's why we have to specify the two on there. Uh, let me just go ahead and specify the font, and that that is gonna be the two. And let's save it here. If you don't specify the GIF font properly, then the bar is not going to display. So make sure you just install this font. So if you don't know how to install, just go ahead and search it on the uh, official repository of the Arts. So you will get that. And. Uh, let me open up the terminal and let's do launch.sh uh, it says permission denied oh we just forgot to give the permission for the script and let's go into the script directory let's do the csmod plus x kava.sh and let's clear up the terminal and let's do launch.sh again so it's it has been launched already and let me show you uh, when my terminal beeps as you can see the bar is working and let's try by running some music and let's see whether it works or not so as you can see the bar is working and this will work if you just talk also uh, it means that if the system produces the sound the bar will work doesn't matter whether you are playing from the YouTube or the Spotify the bar will still work and if you want to change the color of this bar then that is really uh, easy so you can simply define the level 
foreground and followed by the color variable and that is gonna be the colors dot and we just need to see the uh, let me open up my colors configuration and that is on the config.ina as you can see that's i'm using the colors from the axis rosets that is probably the pie wall so i'm using the pie wall here in order to generate my color scheme if i reload the wallpaper the color scheme of the whole desktop will be changed so for this i'm using the audit as a color for my bar and let me go here and let's specify the audit here and let me write and let's reload the wallpaper so that is really easy if you find this tutorial helpful make sure you subscribe to my youtube channel for more linux related contents